Hey everyone, and welcome back to Entrepreneur Zone. Today, we're going to be talking about how Dan Bilzerian finally responds to Ignite fraud allegations. Make sure you stay till the end so you don't miss out on a major response from Dan Bilzerian regarding the Ignite fraud. You'll be absolutely shocked. I had some girls lined up in London. Okay. And, wait, 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 time out. Okay. I don't know what to ask you about with the sentence you just said. There's so many things. <laughs> Who is Dan Bilzerian? Dan Bilzerian is a poker player slash entrepreneur. He's also a trust fund kid who is the son of famous fraudster Paul Bilzerian. You may have heard of Dan, but it might be for all the wrong reasons. He has millions of followers on Instagram, where he posts all about his luxurious and highly expensive lifestyle. You'll see expensive wines, models and bikinis, island getaways, yachts, and more. Dan is in no way subtle. When he parties, he makes sure to go all out and spend as much as he can. One downfall to all this is that he takes his attitude and brings it into business. He has a company called Ignite, which specializes in CBD oils. And as you find out later in this video, they got in a lot of trouble for overspending. The Bilzerian way. Ignite the company. Ignite is a company founded by Dan Bilzerian. The company specializes in CBD oils, but also sells water bottles, vodka, and electronic cigarettes. They even started dabbling with clothing. The company itself was founded on the idea of being a premium CBD brand. That idea was envisioned by Dan himself to reflect his own lavish lifestyle. Dan's idea of a good company involves a lot of parties and expensive products. This company reported a loss of $50 million in 2019. That loss started a flurry of fraud reports after the details were released to the public. Looking at their website, you can find the key players in the business, the top dog obviously being Bilzerian. One person he tries not to publicly announce as part of the company's brainstorming team is his father. Yep, someone who's a convicted felon and is known to commit multiple acts of fraud has made his way into a huge and well-known public company. He isn't even legally allowed to be a part of a public company. Now, let's see just how much trouble Ignite has gotten themselves into. Claims of fraud with Ignite. And so that kind of like, I think, plays a part in it too. So I have to have the best food, I have to have the best cars, just to kind of like... Ignite got into quite a bit of trouble once it was publicly announced that they lost $50 million in 2019 alone. That is a huge loss. How could a company lose that much money? Well, the answer is simply because Ignite was irresponsible. They did make a decent amount of money through their products, but what they spent on leisure and the recreational activities was too much for them to make a profit. How exactly were they spending the company's money? Well, Bilzerian loved to party. And each Ignite party had tons of expensive alcohol, models, and luxury houses. These parties could easily run millions of dollars in costs. Alongside that, some of Bilzerian's guns, stacks of money, and even models boasted the Ignite logo. So that must mean he was using company money to fuel his hedonistic lifestyle. One major issue that came into the spotlight recently was the firing of Ignite's vice president. It was stated by Bilzerian that he was incompetent. Once fired, he released a statement to the public giving the real reason for his release from the company. He stated that Bilzerian was upset when he wouldn't approve of the extreme budgets Ignite had. Some expenses called for items such as a $15,000 ping pong table and a $40,000 rock climbing wall. It was also found out that Ignite had been partially paying for some of Bilzerian's personal expenses, such as yacht rentals and trips to London. He even used the money from the company to buy laundry detergent. It soon became obvious that the company's spending was out of control. Additionally, a claim surfaced that stated that Paul Bozarian, Dan's father, was helping make decisions for the company in meetings. All of these claims and public statements helped put Ignite into a bad light. Expenditure claims of Ignite Ignite has been said to make some frivolous purchases, and many claims have large, unimaginable price tags. A former Procter and Gamble executive and previous Ignite vice president claimed that Bilzerian had expenses that included a $130,340 bohemian photo shoot. These expenses don't make sense because they aren't useful to the company. They may help with marketing the brand, yet there are far cheaper ways to do that. Many believe the spendings are for Dan Bilzerian's own leisure and he just uses the company as an excuse to go out and have parties and photo shoots all the time. There was also an incident involving the Paycheck Protection Program. It was a governmental aid that Dan made the former vice president write down as income when it clearly wasn't. Dan is also known to spend a lot of money on guns, and some of these guns have the Ignite logo on it. So are they bought with the company money? Would that explain the excessive loss the company experienced in 2019? Former employees have spoken out about the spending issue. An anonymous employee stated, Ignite pays for everything, models, events, and yachts. Dan would just have it wrapped with the Ignite logo, and all of a sudden it was an Ignite expense, and he would send the bill. 
pools, trampolines, his personal events that had nothing to do with the business. That statement makes it clear that Bolzerian doesn't have a clear standing on the company's priorities. Dan loves to live a lavish life, and he can't help but bring that into Ignite's business. That is definitely not the way to run a business. And it's the reason his company is not doing well. With all these expenditure claims, it will be hard to take the company seriously and invest in it when your money will most likely be going to parties. Most of Ignite's earnings are through shares that are sold, loans, and investors. That is a lot of opportunity to lose once you're given it. Dan Bilzerian's response. Obviously, someone like Dan Bilzerian is not going to take these fraud allegations lightly. He took to Twitter to say that Uber has never had a profitable month. Let's take a look at that tweet. He tweeted, Uber is worth 80 billion and has never had a profitable month since it started and lost over 5 billion in one quarter last year. Someone responded to this tweet, saying he hopes Ignite doesn't use shareholders' money to rent a $200,000 a month mansion. This user claims that that would be very bad money management. Bilzerian had to respond, and he said, I know 200,000 is probably a lot to a peasant like you, but I flipped a quarter with a buddy for 6 million. So, to recap, he compared his business's loss to a company like Uber, then went on to flaunt his wealth once challenged. Eric Newcomer in Bloomberg had a response to this comparison. He said, It's a routine cost for newly public companies though. Uber's is much larger due to the company's size, and investors are likely to forgive it as a one-off. It was unfair for Dan Bilzerian to compare his company Ignite with a company like Uber, yet he did it to cover up his fault in the Ignite fraud scandal. He could have handled it a little better, yet the response was quite fitting for a character like him. The comparison is uncalled for as well, since Uber has yet to be caught spending company money on unnecessary and personal events. Ignite failed to make a decent profit because of its spending habit, which could have been avoided. They could have earned through their products if they were a little more careful with their money. More issues with Ignite So we now know that Ignite hasn't been doing too well. Dan Bilzerian held high hopes for the company, yet they failed to properly deliver. After all of the controversy surrounding the company, one of their major distributors, Kmart, cut ties with them. This distributor was going to help Ignite in the Canadian market, but since the fraud allegations, this is no longer a possibility. Another issue the company is struggling with is leadership. This is obvious in the way that it is run. Dan is the face of the company, yet they have changed leaders multiple times, and none of this was to their advantage. John Schaefer was recently appointed as the chief operating officer. He was previously vice president of MedMen, another cannabis-related company. He currently holds a leadership position of the company, but that says a lot about him, since 2019 was a bad year for Ignite. Some have even claimed that Dan Bilzerian is just a puppet being pulled by his father Paul Bilzerian. This fraudster has committed crimes such as parking stock in someone else's name, not making timely disclosures, and misstating sources of his funds. These acts have landed him 13 months behind bars. He's not allowed to run a public company, yet he may be helping Dan run Ignite. If that is the case, then Ignite is truly built upon fraud. And with that, we see just how the company can be run to the ground if it's not properly taken care of. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there!